up guys, my name is Keith. Got a quick question for you. Do you want to use Airbnb for EDC? Do you want to use it, but you've heard all the stories of people getting canceled, people getting scammed, and you're just like, Airbnb is not an option because I don't want to go through that. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Airbnb, no way. If you're thinking like that, well, I've got some really good news for you because I've used Airbnb for the past two years for EDC. The total from Thursday to Tuesday was $289 and it was a 20 minute drive from the speedway which was a good location in my eyes so if you're wondering how i did this with caution I actually use this website it's going to be in the comments below click this website you're going to see a map from my understanding when you click on the dot you can see if these people have a business license or not maybe they've been in business for a while and if they have you can be sure that they're not going to cancel on you because they're doing it the right way. There's a lot of people on other Facebook groups talking about how Airbnb is illegal in Vegas now and they're getting rid of it completely, which is totally wrong information. It's just that people are doing it illegally without business licenses. Airbnb themselves don't ask the people to provide them with proof of business and that's why there's people renting out when they shouldn't be renting out and those are the people that cancel on other people. And of course they're scam artists, but if they're not on the map, the one that's in the comments below, like you don't see their listing at all, there's no little dot where the dot should be then most likely they're not doing it legally and you're gonna get canceled so if you just go to Airbnb check out the homes you want to rent out locate it on the other map that I provided you with you see that they have had their license since 2016 you could probably think okay I'm good this is fine you could even call the people up ask them if they could provide you with proof that they have a business license and if they can't most likely they don't have it and there's a red flag for you to cancel that reservation. But if they have their business license, it's totally fine. It's totally legit. You're going to get a good deal and that's my tip for you. I'm going to repost this video when EDC comes closer because I know people are going to be booking maybe two, three, four months ahead of time. And yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Share that link with anyone who you think could use it. And if you're thinking about doing Airbnb or camping, I highly suggest do whatever you want. Try Airbnb this time and then next time do camping. Do camping this time, maybe do Airbnb the next time. From what I've heard, people say that when you do camping, there's no other way to do it. And that's actually what's pushing me to do Airbnb like one more time because I kind of like the experience of coming to a home, even though I'm sharing a spot with someone, the host is usually really cool. They might have dogs, they might have a pool that you can go in yourself and I just like being alone since I'm around hundreds of thousands of people when I'm at the Speedway. But yeah, if you're thinking about doing Airbnb, let me know in the comments. If you've done Airbnb in the past before and you have either a positive or a negative story, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you've experienced and yeah, that's all I got for you today. Really hope this was helpful. My name is Keith. I will talk to you later.